Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 1st, 2021. Well, if you guys remember on Monday, Jim Cramer had an article out saying this week would likely be the calm before the storm. If this is the calm before the storm, oh my goodness, hold on for next week. Um, it could be a rough one. Um, let's hope he's not correct on that um, uh, prediction. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to trade the market today or if we want to just back off and start our weekend early and shut those computers off to avoid the risk with the Friday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Well, doggone it, those bears decided to be really feisty yesterday, even after gapping up in the morning. We had that jobless claims data that came in higher than expected, and they tried to bluff us yesterday morning saying everything was okay, but those bears uh, eventually took back over, pushing us down and selling off right into the close. Now, during the night, we had futures sinking hard. As a matter of fact, futures um, were down um, almost 500 points at one point when I looked at them um, in the overnight. But this morning, we are really trying hard to bounce this back up as if there was nothing going on here in the market. Guys, be really, really careful. This market seems to have that that love and desire to falsely open the the day and then quickly um, see those bears come back into play. So be careful. This could be another pop and drop. This could be another ugly whipsaw on the day. So be kind of careful. So first off this morning, let's take a look at what we've got going. Our technicals in these charts continue to deteriorate. And if you take a look over in Europe this morning, Europe had some inflationary data that is really punishing Europe with um, um, inflation reading that's nearly a 30-year high and energy prices hitting a 13-year high, which of course they don't count either as inflation. But let's take a look here um, in our chart. Now clearly we have um, a pretty nasty downtrend in play. If we run a downtrend across here, we could run a downtrend across here. Pretty nasty in this chart. And breaking down below that 50-day moving average, notice guys how close we could we are to that 200 day moving average and that's why i say we got to be a little bit careful here this morning because there is that possibility we could retest those overnight lows in the futures although we are bouncing up this morning we too have some inflationary numbers coming out this morning that are expected to increase um, according to economists uh, consensus. So watch that carefully here today. We could be rallying here this morning, trying to give everyone hope that this is not gonna move on down. But I gotta tell you, being this close to the 200 day moving average, I could see a very high probability that we could test that here in the next, at least if not today, in the next few days of trading. So be careful in rushing in um, with a buy. Let's take a look um, again here at some of these resistance levels that we have established in the chart. First, we have a pretty substantial price resistance level that runs across here. And that's what we're going to have to watch. Any rally back up could certainly run us into some pretty substantial resistance areas in this chart. And, um, and also, and then of course reject that for more downside move. So as I've mentioned before, we're gonna have to get back above some of those levels and hold them before we can kind of sound the all clear here in the market. And I do think, I do think when we look like this and we're so close to the 200 day high probability, 
we end up testing that before we um, try to break out of this downtrend. Let's take a look at our SPY now. SPY had a pretty rough day yesterday and uh, pushed us on down and notice that we held right there on that tail. We didn't quite break down that tail yesterday, but we gap, uh, we were gapping lower this morning and rising in the pre-market trying to come back up. But once again, remember, we still have those issues out here in this chart. First off, notice that we have this head and shoulders top in this chart. And at this point, that head and shoulders top is right there. It depends on if you draw that neckline with the tail or if you draw that neckline without the tail. Yesterday would have been a hold at that neckline or a possible fail at that neckline of that head and shoulders pattern. So watch that closely. And we also have to keep in mind that even if we do rally back up, which is certainly possible, if we do rally back up, we have a significant level of price resistance that we've built in this chart right through here that may challenge us um, in that rally back up. So you want to be careful if you do try to catch the rally, it's going to be catching the rally for a, um, a quick relief uh, to the upside. I wouldn't be betting that we zoom right back to the top with the way these numbers continue to come in. Notice that our short-term average is a 34 exponential moving average or 20-day moving average crossing down through the 50. And as we bounce back up, that's going to create a pretty substantial resistance zone um, along with this price resistance in the chart. So right through this area will be the battle zone between the bulls and the bears, whether or not we will recover um, in that move. Now we're still well off of our 200 day moving average so that would suggest that possibility that we may not um, test this here in the spy but i do think the diamonds has that pretty high possibility of that test let's look at the cues now the qqq failing under its 50 day moving average certainly still under pressure it does have a little bit of, uh, of relief here this morning seeing um, those bonds those bonds are pulling back a bit this morning that could help here just a bit on the NASDAQ. So watch that closely. But we do have to re recognize that we have created some substantial price resistance levels in this chart. So as we attempt to rally back, or if we attempt to rally back, watch that closely as we push up into these levels for that potential reversal. And once again, we cannot sound the all clear until we pop through and hold for that upside move. As I speak, we've gone from um, I got up this morning at 5 a.m. The futures were down 200 points. We just went positive on the Dow futures on the day. So here again this morning, we have this pump up coming in the pre-market as if there's nothing at all to be concerned about. Just be really careful, guys. How many times do they have to fake us out? here um, popping it up in the morning and then selling it off before we finally wake up and not chase into a morning open let's take a look at our iwm iwm uh, pushed back down below its 200 day moving average and you can see here in the overnight we had this gap down going on here this morning and we're trying to rally that back up here today but one of the things you have to recognize in this chart is that we have a year's worth of price congestion up here um, in this area and then although we've got really good um, energy prices moving higher um, that could still be problematic here for the market. And this will, enter, rising energy prices will help the Russell more than any other index, but watch that closely as we push back into these resistance levels. And notice that we could very soon have our 50 day moving average crossing down through the 200 day moving average here in IWM, creating that uh, death cross on that chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday was trying to get a little bit of a pullback. We were trying hard to say there wasn't any fear here, although we had those jobless claims rising. Um, notice right in here, 
we have broken that that downtrend in the chart and we held it as support yesterday pushing back up now this morning again we're trying to trying to say there's nothing here to worry about ahead of um, some of these numbers this morning but watch this closely even if we do re uh, pull back or if we do get a relief rally be really careful here because we have um, these rising lows in the VIX. So watch that closely. If we were to pop this morning um, with this pre-market move and then turn around and fail again, that could be a um, pretty damaging um, technically here in those charts. Let's take a look at our T2122. This is why I say I think there may be that chance, guys, that we could still fail here this morning. Notice that we are close to an oversold condition in the chart. If we were to get some bad data this morning on inflation, I think the probabilities are relatively high that we get some bad data on inflation today. If those bears are inspired, then we certainly have room to go lower here um, in the market, like I was suggesting, that diamonds 200-day moving average. However, if we do get some better than expected inflationary data here today, well, then we could certainly um, see a significant rally in the market because we've opened up a big size uh, sized opportunity. Typically, we like to trade to these um, oversold conditions before we really rally strongly. So watch that closely. If um, if that were to occur today, we certainly have that possibility we could extend to the downside. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now T2107, whoops. I cannot type this morning. T2107 pulled back yesterday. Um, we were kind of watching this and I had suggested if we could actually push through this uh, um, downtrend here, that would help quite a bit. But T2107 is a percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average. And notice we only have about 40% of those stocks right now in the market above their 200 day moving average. And that pressure, um, came on pretty hard yesterday afternoon. So watch that close. The good news is that we didn't make a new low. So we did hold in there. So that's the good news. If we can bounce off of this area, make that little higher low, get back above that downtrend and hold it as support, then we have some opportunities here that some of these stocks that are um, pretty heavily sold off can start to help lift the market themselves. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 is bullish in the sense that we didn't see a huge spike in um, in market breadth on that selling wave yesterday. We didn't see a huge spike. So I gotta give this side to the bulls um, where that opportunity is. It, it didn't really rank up there with huge fear or anything like that. So watch that closely here in the chart. Remember what we're seeing in these charts, if we take a look at our QQQ, we, um, we have that lower low, but if we look at the SPY, SPY, that possibility if we open right in here it's going to suggest that we may have hit a double bottom so there is that chance that we could rally up and stay bullish on the day despite the selling pressure that we're seeing in Europe and despite um, the um, potential rising of inflationary data here in the US so watch that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to be paying attention to obviously this morning we're gonna have personal incomes and outlays first thing here this morning unfortunately what they're suggesting is that personal income decline is declining today um, that's the consensus estimate um, they're looking for personal income to go from uh, a, a positive 1.1 1 .1, um, to a 0.3, a 0.3 this morning. So watch that. Um, earlier, they had that coming in at a potential negative. So that 
um, is an interesting change here uh, just overnight where it was coming it's supposed to come in at a negative number but that is a substantial decline in those personal incomes notice right here the core PCE number this is going to be an interesting thing they're suggesting core PCE increased by two percent and that our core PCE uh, year over year increases uh, well actually stays flat at 3.6 percent cent now that's not what they showed in Europe overnight. Um, in Europe, they showed that number increasing. And these are the numbers we're gonna have to pay attention to here today and what the market could react to if they happen to come in stronger than expected. So watch that closely here this morning. After that, we have PMI manufacturing and we're gonna have an ISM number and ISM can definitely move us around here um, in that manufacturing number. But notice that the consensus is suggesting we remain flat. Um, so hopefully that comes in um, as they, they suggest here this morning. Then we've got construction spending and then this doggone consumer sentiment. Um, sentiment um, has been falling pretty sharply here. Um, our last reading we held flat. So keep an eye on this. We're at 71. They're hoping we have a 71 for this morning. Sentiment could be coming under pressure as these inflationary pressures really start to hurt um, uh, those, um, those folks, their spending habits here in the market. Um, right remarkably, as I've been talking, the Dow futures are now up 120 points. Um, just a complete reversal going on here this morning. I don't see anything in the news that should have changed that. But um, just be really, really careful here this morning. Look for a lot of volatility um, as we sort this out this morning. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar, but unfortunately, nothing happening there today. Our earnings calendar, we have three companies on the calendar um, that could report. Unfortunately, none of them are confirmed reports. So really, it's going to be that economic data that we're going to be reacting to today. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look um, at some socks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel these videos are worthy, if you're they're helpful in getting you um, set up for the day, please click that thumbs up button. Leave that brief comment. It helps a lot, guys. I can't I can't say enough, it's the engagement with the video that makes the difference. And I know there's a lot of folks watching these videos that that aren't doing um, any, well, and I get it, it's a pain in the neck, right? To leave a comment, I get it. But thanks to everyone who does do that, we're continuing to see this channel grow. And then also, thank you to everyone who supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. You guys are truly awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Let's take a look here and see if we can find a few stocks that might be of interest here today. But I got to tell you, we're going to have to be a little bit careful with the volatility um, that we see in this market. Let's take a look. I mentioned ACB yesterday. Um, ACB um, looking pretty good here um, overall. Notice that we're coming up out of this bottom. We're trying to move up and break that 50 day. Watch this in here. Cannabis is trying to make a little bit of a move here. Um, watch that carefully. We can get up here, hold those higher lows, break in. That becomes that rounded bottom breakout pattern in the chart. So watch that carefully and closely. I got to tell you guys that one of the best places right now to maybe find some bullish charts would be to be to be looking at inverse trades. Now, inverse trades can be a little bit dangerous. Let's take a look at SH. It can be just a little bit dangerous you know, with the way the market is acting this morning that we're a little bit stretched out in that short term. But take a look at this. This was a rounded bottom breakout pattern where the price breaks above that 50. We kind of hold right in there and then shoot back up. Now this pattern 
typically plays itself out that we may and we don't go in a straight line we'll get some bounces back and some pushing around but what we normally see is us move up toward that 200 day moving average downtrend in the market suggests that could be possible so keep an eye on some of these now the reason i bring up sh is it is if the spy goes down one percent sh goes up one percent and the reason i'm showing you that there are plenty of leveraged etfs that give you two or three percent based on a one percent move in the spy but those can also add quite a little bit of danger um, because of the speed of those moves so uh, you know sh you might want to take a look at uh, like dog for the dow you might want to take a look at psq uh, for the NASDAQ and then RWM for the Russell these are the charts that can uh, provide you a little bit of um, um, of protection in a downside market so keep an eye on those those are looking pretty bullish overall another chart I think um, I don't know if I'd want to chase this today but take a look at Merck here this morning Merck popping really hard here this morning and um, has been rallying up pretty substantially and I was wondering yesterday what in the world's creating such a big move in Merck well we find out that they are coming out with a um, oral um, treatment for COVID that seems to have a pretty good um, um, testing on it that prevents hospitalization. Um, so keep a close eye on that. Now, I think um, you don't want to chase this this morning. They're looking for emergency approval. This is going to bounce around a lot, but that would be interesting if we have an oral treatment um, um, coming out on COVID, which could really help things. So watch that closely here this morning. So, so guys, that's about all I'm going to cover here this morning for potential trades, because I got to tell you, with the volatility that we're seeing, it may be better just to protect your capital, stand aside, be a little bit careful and cautious on these wild moves that we're seeing in the market. Um, watch this stuff very, very closely. We could continue on down. Um, remember, we are in a downtrending market, and we could also see that relief rally here today. And here's the, here's the kicker with the with the market in the last hour and a half going from 200 points down to over 100 points up you can see the kind of whipsaw that we could see even during the day so we could see those punishing whipsaws those big reversals be very very careful guys protect your capital and remember this will eventually settle itself out and we'll get back to some more normal trading so protect your capital during those periods of time remember cash is a position i wish you all the very best we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning take care be safe everyone have a great day